What's up guys, NBA Talk for October 30th, 2017, Monday basketball for you, we got a couple games like always, um, we're going to start things off with my New York Knicks with another win, another win against the Denver Nuggets this time, 116 Knicks to 110 Denver Nuggets, this was definitely a showing of what the New York Knicks are right now. The state of the New York Knicks as of right now, how they are playing, their mentality, their strengths, their weaknesses. It definitely showed um, from the get-go, Kristan Brzingis was balling. The first quarter, he was killing it tonight. He was just burning everybody. Uh, but he did have some scares. There were some scary moments. Um, not necessarily scary moments. He was in foul trouble, basically, like, um, towards the end. And you were just wondering as a uh, fan, like, please don't get fouled out. Please don't get fouled out. Please don't. That, that was, I was hoping that was not going to happen. Um, but Chris Donald Brzingis kept himself composed, played absolutely well. He had a career high in points. He, 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 he's the guy, man. He's the star, man. He's just, he's taking that role seriously. He's taking that superstar, star role, whatever you could say. He's taking it real seriously, and he's just leading the charge. Um, the team very much responded well throughout the entire game until the third quarter, where they just completely blew it because we were killing the Denver Nuggets in the first half. We were killing it. Paul Millsap couldn't do a damn thing throughout, throughout the entire night. It, it, we were really killing the Denver Nuggets. I was so surprised by that. Like, we were taking everything that we did last night against the Cavaliers and just applied it to the Denver Nuggets. Great transitioning, which we, I saw. I saw this in the preseason, that they had great transitioning. They did that tonight, especially in the first half. It was, it was just phenomenal. Great spacing. Pick and rolls galore because they were doing a whole bunch of pick and rolls that were actually working with Christian Brzingis and his Kenter. It was just phenomenal. And the guard play was crazy. Uh, Courtney Lee's defense, um, Jared Jack's um, leadership was very much showing. Uh, I'm glad that they have him here in the starting lineup because he's a true leader. It's reminiscing of Jason Kidd all those years ago in the New York Knicks couple years I don't think I don't remember the the year I think it was 2013 2012 to 2013 season where yeah we had a 50 plus season with Jason Kidd this reminds me of that Jerry Jack reminds me of that veteran guard that is what we need we need a guard that can lead this team the right direction hopefully Frank Nidicola plays well in the future because he had a bad night. He had a very bad night because he was making mistakes. But it was not just him because it showed in the third quarter. Like, we made bad decisions. We made bad decisions in the turnovers. And we made bad decisions in the fouling. Two things, turnovers and fouls. Like, we were really giving the Denver Nuggets an opportunity to come completely back, which they did. It, it was crazy, but we were able to keep ourselves composed in the fourth quarter. Tim Hardaway Jr. had a hard time throughout the entire night until the fourth quarter happened where he just, he clicked it. He was shooting threes all over the place. He was doing everything, so everybody kept themselves composed. We got a lot of help from Kyle Quinn. He was doing some things. McDermott was doing some things. It was just great. This is a team that is growing. Progress. Great progress. I don't expect this team to make the playoffs, but we need progress, and this is it. So, Knicks win. Let's look at the stats. Uh, Christon Przingis, like I said, 38 points, a career-high number. This is the highest he's ever done. Seven rebounds, two assists, three block shots. He made four three-pointers. I believe this is his fifth 30-plus game. 30 game. Plus uh, points game. He's killing it. He's killing it, man. 
Um, Ennis Kenter, 12 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists. Um, he was pretty decent. Not as much as he did last year. I mean, not last year, last game. But he's doing good enough. He's doing good enough. Jerry Jack, uh, Jerry Jack putting up 10 assists. Just phenomenal. Great leadership. Courtney Lee with good defense, 12 points, 4 assists. He made two three-pointers. Tim Hardaway Jr. dropped 13 points, all of them coming from the fourth quarter. He just turned it on in the fourth. Hopefully he could be more consistent throughout the entire game because he definitely struggled or really not looking for a shot because until then, he only, he only took five shots. Uh, and then off the bench, uh, McDermott dropping 11 points. Uh, Kylo Quinn with 15 points, 12 rebounds, five block shots. This guy was phenomenal. A hopefully, hopefully we can sign this dude back. He'll be a free agent this summer. He's definitely helping this team. Um, Frank, the rookie, he needs to do a little bit better. He's, he definitely struggled. He turned the ball over a lot. He fouled a lot. He was just making rookie mistakes, but you always have to grow. So hopefully he could take this and grow from this because he definitely struggled tonight. The team shot 50% from the field, 40% from the three-point range uh, because we were hitting a lot of threes in the first half. Like I said, the first half was phenomenal, leading almost 20 points. Actually, I think we led by 20 points in the first half. Uh, we picked up 49 rebounds, which we were doing greatly thanks to Ennis Kenter is doing some good job. And the guards doing some good jobs in the rebounding. Um, 27 assists, 22 turnovers, which was a big deal, and 10 block shots. Phenomenal job. Great progress. Of course, like I said, there was problems. Like they were making bad mistakes. So it's a mental issue. Not a physical or talent wise. Well, at least not yet. But a mental issue is going on here. They need to be better with the ball. And. Better with the fouling. They need to keep themselves on the court. So the Nuggets, uh, Joik, because it was a great matchup between Joik versus Kristan Porzingis. Uh, Joik had 28 points, eight rebounds, two assists, a steal, and a block shot. He like he he turned it up in the third quarter. Uh, Wilson Chandler played 27 minutes, six points. He only took three shots. Uh, Gary Harris was doing a good job too, 18 points, and so did Murray, 20 points as well. And then off the uh, off the bench, we have Moutier with 15 points and 13 points from um, Barton. So you got a lot of production for a couple of players. 41% um, from the field, 43% from the three-point range, 36 rebounds, 20 assists, 13 steals, and only 13 turnovers. So, Nuggets fall to three and four, while we go three and three. We're back to fifth five hundred, which is phenomenal. So, that's it for the Knicks. The Knicks will face the Houston Rockets because we have a good couple of big time matches, uh, including Houston Rockets, and I know the Indiana Pacers is another one. And they've been doing well. So we got a tough road ahead. Houston Rockets and James Harden. That's going to be next. So it's definitely guard play for the next three games. So peace out.